very happy to be speaking to you, Anna Bahati, for the sake of everybody else who's listening. Um, very excited to share uh, with everyone that Anna Bahati has passed her PMP exam. And for those who are preparing for the exam, you know how, how much of a big deal that is. Hongera, congrats, Anna Bahati. Very nice to have you here today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Wula. So, Anna Bahati, um, if you don't mind sharing with us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Okay. Um, like you shared, um, my name is Anna Bahati Guacha, and I'm a project manager for African Albinism Network, um, which is a consortium of NGOs that uh, focus on albinism matters um, across Africa. And we focus on social projects and to help uh, these countries adapt uh, a EU plan of action on albinism, um, which uh, started 2021 to 2031. So, and we also help with capacity building and all capacity development. Um, prior to that, I've been also in other social projects. There was uh, another project called Hakietu, was also on albinism and was across five um, regions of Tanzania. Um, so it was more focused on advocacy and legal reforms and stuff like that, engaging the whole society. How can everyone contribute, um, government leaders, the people with albinism themselves, um, and also social welfare officers, um, religious leaders, everybody come together in the community and work together. So yeah, a little bit, that's my experience. Um, in the project. In interesting. Very interesting. A lot of stakeholder engagement is involved in your work. A lot of project management. I can I can see that. Huh? Yes, indeed. Okay. So, uh, Anna Bahati, if you don't mind sharing, why did you decide to uh, pursue the PMP? Okay. Um... Personally, okay, I knew about PMP way back before I even started working on project management. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just, you know, like those things that you see, like the farther things that you should look up to, but you don't think like you uh, get to anytime soon. So when I got thrown in uh, project management and I didn't really have that much experience. So learning as I'm working, so learning on the job. Mm -hmm. um, most of the times I didn't know what I was doing, but luckily I had a great supervisor um, and my land manager. So like they would guide me throughout um, my, you know, my work. So after that, like I, I did want to be on top of my game. I wanted to know more. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, and of course I wanted to know so professional practices like that that are worldwide acceptable. What are they? How can I be effective? How can I be more productive at, in my work? So yeah, initially that's what pushed me to seek PMP. Okay, and how was that journey? Where did you start, and how did it go um, until you actually got certified? Okay, so last year, um, I think last year sometime, sometime in June on Twitter, I actually saw Hebo Consult. You had like um, organized meeting on type of uh, uh, services you offer, classes you offer. And one of them was uh, PMP and CAPM. So, I heard, I think uh, somebody called Martin, yeah, take, took us through that class and he explained the type of learning that you offer and how can somebody, you know, want to achieve any of it and how to go about it. So since then I knew like you guys offer that, those services. So sometime in November, I had a bit of time because I was a bit busy, um, to June. It was towards the end of my project, so I didn't have much time. So I had a bit of time um, sometime in November, and that's when I approached you guys, and you were very helpful. And you shared that the calendar, I think, was end of November. So yeah, 
that's why we did a online class and five days. It was very extensive, I think, uh, especially topic number two on processes, that was very heavy. <laughs> yeah. Starting so, the project, huh? <laughs> yeah, that was very heavy. A lot of things to, you know, gather, understand and connect, integrate was a lot. But yeah, that but it went by quickly and I'm glad the class was very interactive and um, classmates were, were also like asking questions and sharing because I think two of us were from social projects and other from construction, IT. So it was also good to learn about others, um, others in industry, um, challenges they face and maybe tools they use. So also it was very interesting to learn about others, um, how others, um, go about their project management journey. And so, yeah, after that um, was just to book uh, for the uh, exam. And yeah, it took me a while because uh, I was starting uh, another activity. So I needed more time to gather that and then I can prepare for the exam. So I think I slowed down on preparations early 2020. Because of course it was December, so I just rested. And then towards I think after I think after February, that's when March, starting March, that's when I looked for you and told you like, okay, I'm gonna pay for this. I need to start um, going about it. And you shared um, have assessment classes. That's when we began um, seriously. So those assessment classes I think was three times a week. Mm -hmm. I would join. Um, sometimes I have time in the morning, early morning, I would join and do those assessments. So what I did was to just note down things that uh, maybe you uh, didn't understand or failed, the, the, the questions that I failed, then mm -hmm. go about it the next time and read more. Well, yeah, until okay. the day yeah, that I scheduled. Good. Okay, so the, the, the course itself was the first milestone. It helped you a lot. And then the, the, the review sessions as well, yeah? Because yes, that helps you go through different questions and see your areas of weaknesses and also yes. helps you with your review because, again, you're also in class with other people in there as well. Okay, yes. so Anna Bahati, how much time would you say you would fully, like seriously dedicated to studying for the PMP before you went into the, the exam? I'll say one month. Like the last month, I, yeah, I was more serious. Like um, I would do ass assessment three times a week. And sometimes maybe sometimes I missed um, an assessment would ask for your team members to share that, to schedule another time that's convenient for both of us. Mm. Yeah, that and also, so I, I told you I would review on my own some mm -hmm. of the questions that I got wrong. And I, definitely after the assessment, I would note down every question that I got wrong mm -hmm. and would note down the answer that I got wrong. Okay. So when they share the correct answer, I would compare why did I thought um, the first answer and why is it correct, um, the other answer. So mm -hmm. that helps me gather like, concepts that I missed, concepts right. that I did not know. And yeah, so next time when you give me the same question, like definitely I would not get it wrong. <laughs> nice, nice. So those review sessions, those assessments you continuously did were very helpful in helping you unlock those concepts that you were not able to grasp in the beginning, yeah? Yes, indeed. Yeah. And because also I think I'm the type of person that usually would work best in group scenarios like conversation wise mm. but so when you're like um this one you're just studying by by yourself so it's mm. hard to have that conversation but it's easier with those assessments then you can review easily okay like, um, that's good that's good so Anna Bahati, you did your exam online we know that there's two options you can either do the exam at the center or you can do your exam online you know that i I'm not a big fan of online because of the challenges that we have with networks, 
and all the other things that could possibly go wrong when you're doing um, when you're doing it on your own with the online experience not being very good. So if you don't mind sharing with us a little bit, how was the experience um, with taking your exam online? Uh, okay, if I had to do it over again, um, first of all, I would change the timing. <laughs> Yeah, I chose wrong timing. I started mine, I think around 8.30, but you're supposed to log in half an hour. So I logged in eight o'clock PM, mm -hmm. like towards the process that like you have to take pictures of your uh, space and whatnot. I think it took me like 25 minutes. Okay. To get that. And then you have to wait for them to start the test. So and it didn't uh, it didn't start eight thirty on on dot. So it took a while, mm. like close to nine. So I was already tired, and because it was a whole day, like preparing, I was tired. <laughs> so that was nine p.m. at night. Yes, mm. started my. <laughs> so oh, wow. I was tired, and I thought during the day I would um, take some time off and sleep and rest preparing for the night but I think because I was tense the whole day I couldn't like I went to bed and couldn't sleep so I think best if you can do it like to the center better and during the day definitely yeah. probably morning time because your mind is fresh yeah yeah and so the good that's thing what I would say Sorry, I interrupted you. I was just going to say the good thing is that at the center, you would definitely go with the time. They only work or operate um, during those working hours. So it's either in the morning or at 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. or 12 um, p.m. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think I think I know why I went for online. Um, one, one of the thing is um, my work is online, so I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> But also I had a friend that has done a couple of other certifications online and was very confident that you can do it. So I was like, ah, there's no problem. But yeah. And you did, and you did, and you did great. You scored above target in all three domains. So it means you 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 really mastered um, the PMP. Congratulations! I'm very very happy and so proud that you actually did this because I know the amount of effort that you put in. I know you put in the work and you're very enthusiastic about project management. So that's great. Um, so what I wanted also to ask you to share is because we know that there are a lot of others who are in this journey. Um, some have already done the course and they're in the process of preparing for the exam. Others are thinking of doing the course and they're wondering whether the PMP is for them or not. So maybe let's start with the first group um, of those who are preparing to sit for the exam after they've done the course. Um, do you have any tips to share with them now that you have succeeded, you have passed above target? That's a big deal. That's why I keep saying it over and over again. <laughs> So please yeah. share a few tips that you have for other candidates who are preparing. Okay, um, tips number one: do assessments like those the Hebel assessments that are provided. Do them religiously. <laughs> like if it's three days a week, uh, find time morning or evening. Do them, and I think. What I did was, I think worked for me, um, noting down the questions that I got wrong, because that helps me. Or oh, something that I didn't say um, that I did also was the last week, I, I, I remember I requested for you to do the final, the like four final um, assessments. Mm -hmm. I redid them. So, yeah. and I performed well on, most of them, except one, I think number 18 was very difficult. So I did uh, put more effort on that. That means like if, if I didn't do well, that means there's some concepts on that paper that I did not grasp and I needed to learn more about them. So on that day, um, the last day I focused on that. Okay. Um, so I would say redo tests if you can, you have time, make time for it. Um, I think Hebo are very helpful and would, you know, be there <laughs> to guide you. So that's what I did. I didn't even know it was possible, but you helped me. And yeah, 
uh, I did that. Um, so that actually um, gave me confidence that, you know, like, because some of the tests I got 90s and 80s, so I was a bit confident that, oh, okay, I'm good. Because <laughs> initially I wasn't performing so well, so was worried. Um, yeah, so those are the tips. And also listen to um, videos of, um, I think I shared with you the 200 questions on Agile. Mm -hmm. he, yeah, that guy explains well, so well, articulate um, the, some of the concepts that you might have missed. So I did like, okay, because he was just speaking. Um, so you can also read. So I would pause before he answers the right question. So I also check myself, what do I think? Mm -hmm. And when I see the correct answer, I can understand because he explains also all the other options, why are they wrong? So that helps you also to know them, how should you apply them maybe in other, other questions, not in this particular one. So, and especially that helps in scenario questions uh, in terms of people and processes, some of them, yeah. And also that, um, I think is the PM book processes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, PM book one also, Yeah, that one also helps understand uh, linking or the integration between uh, yeah, different processes. Because I think it's something that even in the projects you can apply, how do you work from one thing to another? So I think that one also um, helps you integrate the different concepts. How do you link different concepts um, to certain things? Okay. Yeah, and what else? Yeah, yeah rest well <laughs> before the test. That's a good one. Rest is important. <laughs> you want to be able to focus for the four hours that you're doing the yeah. exam. Hmm. Yeah. And, and you trust to... yourself towards the end. Like trust yourself like you can do it. And, and another thing, time management. Oh, I should talk about that because I struggled with that. Um, I'm bad at that. Um, so yeah, um, don't overthink it sometimes. When you know, you just know. So that's what I did. Even in the test, I, I didn't have time to review my answers because mm -hmm. uh, towards the end of the session, like I uh, already had the limited time. So right. yeah, work on time management. Okay, that's a good one. And then you also mentioned Agile. Um, is there a lot of Agile questions compared to um, traditional or predictive um, yes, I would say definitely. I, I can't even pinpoint a question on predictive. Rather, it's hybrid and agile. Yeah, basically. Yeah, most of them are based on that, like mixed or agile. Mm. I didn't see anything on, on, uh, on predictive. So for the candidates preparing, um, watch out for Agile. You want to be very conversant on all the Agile concepts and um, do as many Agile questions out there as possible. Yeah? Yes, definitely. And, and I would say, I think because the, the project management as a professional is moving away from purely predictive. Mm. There are also, yeah. So some aspects, there, there are some questions that they would ask you maybe uh, maybe this aspect is um, known and so forth. And then another aspect will be, will be known once they start the project. So you definitely know you have to mix the two. Right. Don't just go with one. Yeah. Nice. I can see you're becoming an expert already, or you already are an expert. So Anna Bahati, um, my last maybe question or um, key takeout. What would you want to tell or to advise those who have not really started um, into looking into the PMP journey or into project management generally, but they're thinking of getting into project management and maybe pursuing the PMP, but they're not really sure if this is for them. What are the benefits that you see so far in the work that you do, but also being um, Yes, you have some experience in project management, but you're even exploring it even further. What would you want to tell that group of people? Um, don't overthink it. Like, uh, I think 
when you, you know, like if you know like you need uh, PMP to help you with your work, or maybe the certified will take you a step further. I think don't overthink it, just do it. Um, and sometimes you want to know all the way, like how the process will be. Uh, just mm -hmm. trust that the process will work out itself. And in terms of uh, benefits, it will definitely help you. Because for me, I didn't know about Agile until you started speaking it in class. Um, so going through it, I now see there are aspects that I used to apply, but didn't know that were definitely agile. And I think the way the world is right now with everything, with the pandemic and everything, technology, change, ever-changing technology, you, you can't really have a project of more than one year or two years that has no changes. Like definitely you have changes. So you have to be willing to be flexible, to adapt to new, scenarios like let's say pandemic actually for anybody that was in the project definitely knows how they had to maneuver things and mm. work themselves you know so yeah. definitely there's some aspects of agile that you need to apply in your work there's some concepts that you might not um, have known or maybe um, I remember I had more understanding of um, team in terms of working in a team because mm. In the beginning of my my experience, that was a new thing for me in dynamics. And I think I had one book, I think mm -hmm. Five Dysfunction of a Team, that really opened me as a leader. How can I help my team? How can I understand our weaknesses and how to help them? So, and some of the things that we're actually doing in uh, PMP or learning about them, um, they help you uh, work, navigate uh, towards the team. And especially when you're working with different stakeholders, um, such as uh, for myself, I think social projects, you work with so many people of different calibers, um, like high-end officials and like normal people, layman. So you have to know how, how you behave towards um, an official. It's different with how you behave with um, a layman who does not understand. And also how you re relate with your partners. It's also different. And especially if you're dealing with international stakeholders, it's also different, different cultures. Yeah. So it does open you. Like you remember how we, we when you shared our virtual team, mm -hmm. I didn't know the job that I was going to do was going to be a virtual right, yeah. team. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely something I'm also applying, how to get those um maybe come back, can't ban board, you know, right. catch up every while, once in a while. How do you catch up with your team when it's virtual? You know, it's not yeah. easy as when you see everybody every day, it's different. So definitely you might not see um, its importance right now or you can apply it right now, but you never know where life will throw you. Exactly. You know? So yeah, so just prepare, trust yourself, um, something will come up that you apply it if right now you don't see the need and make time for it. Right. Yeah. Thank you very, very much, Anna Bahati. Very good insights. I'm sure everybody who gets to listen to this will definitely benefit. Um, thank you very much. And again, congratulations on your PMP. Go ahead and celebrate, but mostly make the most of it. I wish you the very best in your career, and I look forward to seeing you grow and um, succeed even further. Thank you so much, Bula. Thank you, thank you to you and your team at Hebo. Yeah, regards to everybody who helped me along the way. Thank you, thank you too.